Keen and snowy eyes catch glimpses of bright green emerging from the brown carpet of leaves. Change. Like spring itself materialized, the foliage of wild leeks, or ramps, seemed to suddenly pop from the dirt. Herds of rabbit-eared oleum scattered about the wooded deciduous hillsides of Vermont. Intrinsically beautiful and encouraging, the visual stimulation of green after so much monotone makes hunting oleum trichocum well worth the effort. But this early vegetation also yields a wonderfully delicious wild edible. Early season ramps are difficult to pick. The small and tender bulbs vigorously cling to the porous soil in which they grow. The flavor hovers between a gentle garlic, onion, and shallot. They're wildly versatile and delicious. Suddenly, my omelets are memorable. Small, chopped, and sautéed in butter, the bulbs quickly brown caramelized. Prior to flipping it, I lay down the tender greens on the wet side of the omelet and let some cheddar melt into it. The thought of this treat induces drool. After a month under the sun, yellowed limp foliage indicates the swollen onion-like bulbs are now easy to pluck from the fragrant duff. Sugars have turned to starch as they age. The older ones are perfectly primed for pickling. Sweet, salty, and fragrant. Once chopped and incorporated into mayo, a plain burger turns into a delectable culinary masterpiece. It's the tops. Walking past vernal pools on a warm early May evening, tiny frogs flood my ears with the sonic lust of reproduction. Deeper into the woods, the peepers have faded, replaced with the cool, liquid silver voice of the hermit thrush. Her song evokes in me childhood strolls through fields punctuated with deer quietly munching on the first green stalks of grass. I recall my dad using his walking stick to silently communicate where to look among the shadows. Longer days allow me to pick as much as I can carry in my pack. Walking out of the dark woods, my eyes and ears have adjusted, and I'm aware of some of the night creatures who have heard and smelled me coming for miles. They acknowledge me with the animal indifference that can only come from living wild.